1.4 again. And you can see they're very consistent, although Darrell has had overall the better lap times during those five laps of 351 through 355. Here's a change for the lead. Ricky Rudd down on the inside of Davey Allison and Darrell Waltrip trying to root his way under Davey Allison, and he does it. So Ricky Rudd now is in the lead. Waltrip, ooh, Waltrip had second there for a moment, but Slip coming off the second corner. Now he gets it again, and Davey Allison is back to third. He and Davey Mason, oh! And Waltrip goes around. Nice save, didn't hit anything. Whew. Well, this is uh, the break they need for their last caution flag, if, uh, for their last pit stop, and if Darrell can get her turned around, which it looks like he will, and stay in the lead lap, he still will be okay. Yeah, he really isn't going to lose a whole lot unless that bump it's damaged that. the car in some way, you know. Yeah, that's pretty pretty level ground down there. He went over some gravel and everything. I doubt it uh, affected it that much. Meanwhile, Jimmy Spencer in that Pooch City Chevrolet did get a lap back on that. He had passed the meters. This is the... Uh, 14th or 15th caution of the day. 15 caution periods were five away from the all-time record. And here comes the pit stop. Baby Allison coming down first. Of course, is in the uh, odd position, and Jerry Punch is there. Well, it should be the final scheduled stop under the caution flag for Davy Allison's Avalon Ford. The crew will change all four tires as expected. Right side tires already on the car. They dash around to the left side. Got to make sure they get it plenty full of fuel. They will make a chassis adjustment on the left side. Larry McReynolds and the rest of the Havilland crew, the Robert Gates Racing Team, now put all the lug nuts on. And Davey's car down the way. You hear him peeling off pit road now. He was among the leaders in the odd cars to pit first. And they're waiting here in the Ricky Rudd pit for the even cars to come down pit road as the field getting ready to come down turn four, turn three. Several still sitting on pit road. Here comes Sterling Marlin. Nicky Gibbs out. So is Hunt Strickland. And now here come the even cars in. Ricky Rudd slides into position. There's Jerry. Ricky Rudd tied Chevrolet getting what, as we said, would be the final pit stop scheduled anyway under the caution flag today. Ernie Irvin is also in further up pit road, and they will change the right side car to Irvin's car and fuel it. Now Ricky Rudd's tied team going to the left side of their car. Pulling left front and the left rear car off. Now left side of the Kodak and Chevrolet to race the fence. Back in the five pits now. The tie for finishing Ricky Rudd's car on the jack moving down pit road. And Ernie Irvin's car begins to move, so they will dash in turn one. And Darrell Walter pits on the back stretch. Here's John Kernan. Darrell Walter is in for a four tire change. Right sides are already on. Darrell has requested a cold towel. He says he's burning up in the car. They have surveyed the car. It doesn't look like much damage other than a little bump in the rear end. They did put one round of wedge in the right rear. He is full. And Darrell is down and away, headed back out to the racetrack. But Dale Jarrett beat him out of the pit. Now let's take a look at the replay and show you how Darrell spun coming off corner four. Comes off turn four and Davey Allison runs up, bumps him in the back and sends Darrell into the spin. And he just barely missed hitting the end of pit road there, but didn't hit anything as the car slid down to the bottom of turn number one. Here it is again. Well, Darrell gets traction coming off the turn, slips up in front of Davey, and Davey was coming on strong out there and just hit him enough to spin him around. And Ernie Irvin and Dale Jarrett go through the smoke obstructing their view, but everybody else got through okay. And Jeff Hammond, after seeing that, here's how he reacted. Now, after taking a look at a replay of the incident, NASCAR has apparently decided that the number 28 car of Davey Allison will go to the end of his respected row for the restart. All kinds of things happening here at Bristol International Raceway.